what does this guy know about building houses? Coming to you from the Builders First Source window and door showroom. They also have a beautiful retail spot. We're in Mar Vista, which is one of the LA locations. And I gotta say, this window and door showroom behind me, this is one of the best ones I've ever seen because we've got a bunch of different options. We've got Marvin, Western, Anderson, uh, Jeldwin, a few more, La Cantina. But what I really like about this showroom is that everything's exposed. We can see the nailing flanges. We can see the waterproofing details. We can see how these windows and doors are made. So on today's video, we're gonna meet with Carlos, who's the window and door sales manager for all of LA. And we're gonna actually run through the showroom and show you a bunch of different products, both on uh, sliding doors, swing doors, and windows. And we're really gonna talk through the differences between the manufacturers and why you might choose one versus another. It's really a window and door showroom conversation with Carlos and I. I think this is gonna be really valuable for you. From the Builders First Source window and door showroom here in LA, let's get going. Man, Carlos, that is a pretty door right there. Yeah, I like very that. amazing, nice looking pivot door for sure. Big old pivot. Now guys, this yeah. is Carlos. Carlos manages all of LA. And I gotta say, Carlos, this is my, one of my favorite, if not my absolute favorite showroom. Because of the way you built this, everything's exposed. You can really understand how these doors are going to be installed. You can even see the shims and the screws that hold them in Absolutely. place. Absolutely. What we wanna do, Matt, is create an environment where the builder can bring in um, the homeowners, the architect can come in and everyone could just, uh, an environment where they could see, feel, touch uh, these doors. It's a big commitment they're gonna make. Yeah. So we just wanna make sure that they have an opportunity to actually see the product that's gonna be installed into their homes. Love it, man. So yeah. where do we start here? What is this door? So first, this at? is a La Cantina, all aluminum, multi-slide door. So this is Keranidite finish. Um, it has a low profile sill. Um, the door is 18 foot wide, three panels, so it's a very large door. It's the biggest panel they'll actually make in this size of door. So we actually maximized this um, to make it a three door unit just to kind of show off what, what you can do in this type of environment here. So they call that a nesting, right? Where it kind of grabs the other panel as you come by. Right. And then talk to me about the sill. I'm assuming that you would have maybe your flooring coming right up to this so you wouldn't have much of a transition. You're absolutely right, Matt. So the, when we're trying to create a transition in from the in, interior to the exterior, and it's just low profile, so you want to put your flooring right to it. And you can actually put flooring in between the tracks as well. So you, yep. all you basically see, that's all you're really going to see at that point. Correct. I've done a bunch of these in the past, and clients love how you can go inside to outside and really not have much sill. I do want to point out, though, that when you've got this kind of sill, you probably have a much lower rating for both water and air infiltration. So this, like for instance, the last time I did one of these big doors, it was on a screen porch. It was to a screen porch with like a 15 foot, maybe 20 foot overhang. I wasn't worried about blowing wind or water. I was walking right onto a covered deck area and that's the kind of place for this door, right? That's absolutely right. Because you want to make sure that the water cannot come in, into the interior. So yep. you want to make sure that you either have proper coverage or you some, have non-organic flooring on the inside, at least the first probably foot. Yeah. That So in case water does protrude into the house. Non-organic meaning no hardwood floors right Correct. up to this. Yes, sir. Uh, and on that project that I built, we did have hardwood floors up to it. Right. But again, we were at like a 15 foot overhang. Then, then you're, so we didn't have any water issues. Right. Um, I'm assuming this is non-thermally broken. You can see that the aluminum is going from inside to out, right? Correct. So they have both products, a non-thermally broken and a thermally broken product. La Cantina so, does. Yes. Correct. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. So. That's nice. I also like how they labeled all these doors on the outside so you can kind of see what the door is, what the finish is, what the hardware is. Yeah, so people kind of uh, look around the showroom and, and get an idea of what they're looking at. So that way there's uh, nothing's hidden. That's nice. Yeah. Um, one thing I do want to point out on these doors where you've got three panels, you've got a thicker jam on this, right? So yes. you need to think about what's the width of my wall assembly and what's my cladding on the outside because this is a pretty beefy jam. Uh, on here. You're also going to notice there's no nailing flange or weatherization flange on this. So, you know, if you were using, let's say, Sega tape on the inside or the outside, you'd be able to stick to that, but you need to think about what your trim details look like. And then this is going to get screwed through the jam effect. You can even see these screws on the inside. And if you look down here, you can see the screw coming through. So that's how you're actually physically attracting right. that Right, yeah, door. it's very important. You come in and know that you can only use a two by six wall that a two by four won't accept this type of frame. So yep. it's very important 
that's a good note for you, uh, notation map. So. Can you give us some idea of where this door might land in terms of cost? Yeah, so costing wise, this runs about a thousand dollars a foot for this type of aluminum door here. Okay. So you're right gotcha. around a thousand dollars. Eight foot tall door, just the way we see it here. So, so. 15 foot wide door, this could be a $15,000 door. Yes, sir. That's yeah. absolutely right. And that's not including install, don't forget, Correct. right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's move yeah. on. Next up, so we've next got... So next up, we have the La Cantina Contemporary Clad um, bifold unit here. So this has aluminum cladding on the exterior with VG fur to the interior. I'm okay. sorry, cladding of black exterior and VG nice. fur to the interior. I like that. Look right. how thin yeah. the sight lines are on that too. That's really nice. Yeah, this is a contemporary clad. So it has a really square look, um, really narrow lines. So it uh, gives you more glass to look out of here. Little magnet right there. It has a magnet to hold the door into place. So this is what we call our everyday type of man door. So you go in and out every day of the week. You want to go out to your to the exterior. So you're going to go out your man door. This is what we call a man door. Here. I like that. So. If you've got a dog, it's really nice to just right. have a swinging door to let the dog out. Yeah. But check this out. Come on on the inside of me. Uh, this is how it operates. So you've got this little lever right here that you pull right. up and then you push the door. And now this is going to open. And Carlos, this is not avid weight on the track. This is top hung, right? Correct. So this is a top hung assembly. So again, you probably got a little bit beefier header you're going to need up on top. Um, but again, it slides really nice. You can mm. just see with one hand, you could just slide the thing over. So it's basically a guide on the bottom because of, because of the wheels being top hung at this point. That's so, really nice. Right. One thing I want to point out for, uh, for those watching, ball bearing hinges on here. Uh, nice hinges, but you're also going to notice on some of the doors some slightly different hardware. So keep that hinge in the back of your mind. But look at that. When those doors are folded uh, in nesting, this is an out, that's the outside. They're actually nesting outside. They're not going to hit furniture and you've got this giant opening, right? That's really nice. Yeah. So this is really big here in, um, in the, in our market. Um, a lot of people on the indoor outdoor want these big openings. So this is a, a huge product that we sell a lot of here in our market. I like that. Now talk yeah. to me about the sill. This sill I'm guessing probably has a pretty good DP rating. Yeah, right? this actually has a DP rating of 50. So wow. very, very good because it, the doors sit to the exterior. This is their water resistant seal. There's other options available as well. You can get a guide track only if you want to do that. But again, no DP rating at that point. Mm -hmm. um, but this is their waterproof, water, uh, weather resistant uh, seal that you have here on the bottom. So um, again, the doors sit to the exterior. So when the wind hits the door, it's actually going to cause a tighter seal as the doors um, uh, compressed into the frame. Yeah, because so. this is an outswing rather than in-swing door. Correct. And if you're not familiar with the DP rating, uh, the quick basic on it is it stands for design pressure. By the way, here's how that door closes. You grab this handle right here and then turn that and now we're locked here. We're going to do the same thing here. Pull the handle, drop that, super easy, and then the swing door is going to come in. So DP stands for design pressure. It used to be called uh, I'm sorry, no, DP is the old rating. Now they're calling it PG, PG rating, correct. Yes. which is a mix of design pressure and something else, right? And now they call it performance grade PG rating. Correct. And I can't remember the exact specifics of what the 50 stands for, but basically the higher the rating, the better it's going to withhold on a spray rack and wind test for wind and water beating against that door. So uh, you know, if you're in a uh, climate that you're worried about water and air getting through, you know, if that Minnesota air is coming through your door, you're not going to be really happy in January. Whereas here in California, even in January, it's not like it's minus five outside. Right. Correct. That's so we're not right. as worried about a really high uh, PG rated door, whereas we might be in some tougher climates. Florida. Florida, that's water. right. 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 Yeah. Yeah. One other note I wanted to make, this is a Title 24 compliant door. So okay. Title 10, 24 is uh, energy efficiency code here in California. It's a 0.3 U factor okay. and a, a 0.23 SGC uh, rating on Okay, on so the we've got a really well. good so, right. energy efficient door. Really nice looking on the inside. I like that vertical grain fur interior personally. Uh, and but a little contemporary in the outside. Correct. Right. Where are we looking at cost wise on this door? So this door is going to run you about twelve hundred dollars a foot. Okay. Eight foot tall door, just as we see with the VG fur. VG furs are standard wood. There's upgrades on the wood. Mahogany would be the next upgrade up. But as shown with the VG fur, you're looking at twelve hundred dollars a foot. Okay, that's helpful. Appreciate yeah. that. Yeah. All awesome. right. Next up, what's this door? So this is an all weather product. So all weather start off as a commercial grade huh. product. Um, and now brand. they're now they're being sold into homeowners or hit into the residential uh, product line. 
Again, this is a thermally broken product. This is a multi-slide again with the um, half inch sill on the bottom. So it's a, what, what they call a flush sill. So again, you have to be very careful when you're doing your flooring. This would be more in the tile or if you're doing concrete, if you're doing wood flooring, this three quarters, probably not the right idea to do. So again, something to know when you're getting into this. But um, again, this is a really good uh, residential product, but it's actually commercially rated. So Got again, it. really good. Uh, PG rating, mm -hmm. PG 50 on this door here as well. Wow, PG so, 50, so right. even higher yeah. than the 45. Correct, yes. Yeah, so Here's yeah. something I'd like to point out. Bring your flashlight with you when you come to showrooms because you can actually see the weep holes and how the water might work. So I'm on the outside of the door. If you can picture the, uh, the wind and the water beating against this door and coming down to the sill, some is that, of that water is gonna make it past the weather stripping. And on this door, you can notice there's some holes drilled in the sill Every manufacturer is gonna have this slightly differently. But when I look through those holes, I can see the bare concrete below, which means when I install this door, I need to have a sill pan made for the door so that water weeping down there hits the sill pan and comes to the outside. That also means that this sill on the bottom needs to sit on top of the finished floor, whatever that is on the outside. So if it was concrete or tile, this door needs to sit on top of that. So we need to be thinking about uh, what's our concrete, what's our foundation, what's our framing look like underneath these doors so we can make sure water that gets into those sill pans can weep out on top of. We wouldn't want to bury this pan and put, you know, let's say tile on the outside right up to that. Otherwise, that is going to get buried in there. Okay, next door, what do we got here? Okay, so next we have is a wind door product. So wind doors from um, Tustin, California here in Orange County, about 40 miles south of where we're at today. Hmm. This is a vinyl product. Really? This, this is, is vinyl? Correct. And it's laminated in black, so you can get a black on black. So again, you can get a, a nice, really nice uh, vinyl bifold without that's a lot uh, with a lot of cost savings involved in this. So How much this, cost savings are we talking This would run you about $800 a foot. Wow. Quite a bit less. $1,200 a foot on that La Cantina. Correct. 800 here. Yes. That's so pretty very, nice. Very nice door. You got the multi-point locks on here as well. Um, everything just, just the same. It's just a vinyl product. So, and again, you get black on black, you can get split finishes. There's white as well. There's, there's different color options available on yeah. this product as well. And, uh, I would like to point out too, we've got weeps on this door we can see. So right. the water is coming down here and then it's weeping out here. So these weeps need to be above whatever my finished floor is here. So I could put my finished floor right where my fingers are, but we wouldn't want to put our finished floor right here because now I would bury that water and it could back up in the house. I love this display. Yeah, and again, this so door good. goes to the exterior just like the La Cantina Bifold. Um, again, just a lot of cost savings involved in this product line. Um, and it has a, a PG rating of 35. So again, a really good, this, good. Is, this water resistant seal. Yeah. Again, you get a guide track on this as well. So if you want to go real sleek, with the guide track, you can do that, but uh, we always recommend the uh, water resistant seal. That's the nice. First option. I'll admit, if you watch my my videos, I don't love vinyl. It's not my first choice uh, for uh, for windows and doors, but I certainly get the cost savings where right. you're looking for yeah. that. And not everyone can afford uh, some of the more expensive doors. Is this a vinyl uh, slider? A as vinyl well? multi-slide slider as well. Yeah, Matt, that's what we have here. That's so, pretty nice. Again, from Windor product line. Oops, let's see, it looks like it's locked here. Yeah. Nope, I locked it all the way around. There, there we, we go. go. All right. So yeah, oh, it's a multi-slide here. This one's shown with the split finish. So again, you could do split finish. You could do all white. You could do black on black, black to the exterior, white to the interior. A lot of options available on this. You can hear a little bit of the noise from the uh, weather stripping. Right. But I'm guessing this door is quite a bit less expensive than some of those windows Correct. we saw. Correct. Yeah. Up. On the other, on the flip side, I tell people if you can hear the west strip, you know it's you know it's holding pretty tight. So that's right. actually a, a good thing sometimes as well. Probably so, not terrible. Yeah, it's not, it's not too bad. But at least you know the door's. Being and is that still somewhere in the 800 a uh, a linear foot range? Correct. Something like that. Yes, sir. Right. I mean, that's definitely yeah. a, a budget friendly door, I would say. Yeah, absolutely. So we, we're here to help value engineer projects. So we're, we, you don't necessarily have to get the most expensive door that we have in the showroom. We have a lot of options to show. That's nice. So, yeah. Okay. So the next door here, this is also a uh, folding door system. Right. So Outswing door. Yes, sir. What do we got here? So this is a Marvin door. This is again, a cloud product. Uh, so it has aluminum exterior, 
which Marvin uses extruded aluminum to the exterior. This has um, wood on the interior. Mm -hmm. This is again, your everyday type of man door. We did this on purpose to, to show um, customers coming in. You could do a man door to one side and then do all the doors, have the doors all stacking to the other, to the opposite end. Gotcha. So, yeah, so we just wanted to kind of show some options here. And I think I've heard you say before that whenever you get these doors that have a swing door and then folding, the swing door is always your odd numbered panel, correct? correct? So you wouldn't do this in two panels or four panels, you'd have to go to five panels. Yes, that's right? absolutely right. So anytime you want a man door, you have to have an odd number of panels. So to your point, three, five, seven would be able to get a man door and, and, and be able to come in from the exterior as well. So yeah. again, very well put together product. I mean, Marvin is, a really good clad yeah, product. That's um, really nice. You yeah, can tell you see the hinges beefy. are a little bit different. Than yeah, these what we've hinges seen are before, a little beefier so, than, uh, yeah. than some of those other hinges we saw. So check this out compared to the uh, La Cantina. These feel a little bit beefier. There's also an additional, um, I don't know what you'd call that, but some kind of a catch system here. Right. That's probably uh, just making sure that it's, uh, it's able to withstand higher pressure Correct. probably. Yeah and keep the doors from rigidity and keep them together when they're in the closed position as well. Nice so door. Kind of open and nice close the same and gets the same hardware. I suspect we've come to another price point here, haven't we? Yeah, <laughs> so this is again, uh, this is probably roar about the $1,800 a foot on, okay. on this type of door unit here. So, yeah, so we're getting up there. Yeah, right. That's a nice door though. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, just as a side note, uh, I've installed a lot of Marvin over the years. Marvin's made in Minnesota. And I tend to find that companies that are based in really cold climates uh, tend to make doors that are both more expensive, but also better at withstanding water and wind. Uh, and Marvin Anderson, uh, both based in the snowy north, they tend to be some of the better products. Uh, I know that's a very broad statement, uh, but I tend to find that to be true. Yeah, what so, is this guy? So this is an all aluminum product from Anderson. This is a new product line for them, the Heritage Series line. So it's a very nice, mm. it's made in Goodyear, Arizona. Um, it's a very well put together product. We actually stock these doors here. Really? We have these doors in stock you ready. You stock these we doors? We stock these doors in nine, 12, 15 foot wide, eight foot tall. Check out that cool handle. Um, yeah, no, it's a really nice handle. That's neat. One thing I want to know on these aluminum doors, they come knocked down. So the frame's not assembled. Actually, majority of the doors we've seen here today, the frames come disassembled. So you have to assemble the, the frames on the job and then, and then install the doors as well. Huh. But yeah, very nice product. Um, very, very proud to have it here on display. And, and, what, uh, and what's the yeah. price point of these guys? So these, this goes back to about the $800 price range. So, really? Yes, uh, per foot. So it's very wow. affordable aluminum product line. Um, it's, it's very nice. It so. appears to be maybe thermally broken. No, this is not thermally broken, is yeah, it? Yeah, it's, it's not a thermally it's broken. It's not thermally product. broken. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe not as high as energy of performance as the vinyl product, right. but certainly incredibly durable. I mean, that's one of the nice things about aluminum. Absolutely. Even non-thermally broken, there's no rot gonna happen here. Sure. Uh, that's Again, when really somebody really nice wants door. to value engineer a project with today's environment, a lot of lead times are, are still out pretty far. When we get a door in a day, I mean, it's, it's pretty nice. I it's mean, pretty it's impressive. A, yeah, it's a great selling point for us. So. And uh, again, let's see if we can see those weeps. Uh, this one has a pretty big brush seal, but you can see these weeps right here. So water's gonna be weeping out here. We need to make sure these are not buried. Uh, if you only learn one thing from the video, learn this. <laughs> do not bury your weeps, whatever you do. Absolutely right. <laughs> that is a really big door. What are we looking at here? So now we have Anderson E-Series uh, clad bifold. So again, this is a 12 foot wide, Ooh. three panel door. Three panel. So, so that's four a four foot, wide, foot four panel. Foot wide, yes. Four foot swing door. Four foot, yeah. Also nesting like some of the other guys. Right. VG I fur like on that. the interior as well on this one here. There's different, um, many wood species available. We decided to go to uh, VG fur on this one here. Really cool blue on the out exterior. Just for to my, kind of show uh, off the options that you could do on a collab product, different colors. I like that a lot. For my sure. old, for the old builders in the room, uh, E-Series is former Eagle Windows. Correct. Anderson bought them, I don't know, 10 years ago now maybe. Uh, that's always been one of my favorites. They're aluminum clad on the outside, wood on the inside. They used to be LVL framed. I don't know if they still are. Yeah, no, you're absolutely right. And that was a big selling feature right. that mm -hmm. they were very strong uh, with that engineered LVL core. I also like on these Eagles, this nailing flange on the outside. Now this is not a structural flange, I'm assuming, right? Correct, yes. We still need to screw them through the jam, but you've got a nice weatherization flange on the outside of that E-Series. 
Yeah, That's as we've nice. seen earlier, some manufacturers do a block frame, so it's a little bit different than a nail fan, so that mm -hmm. would get uh, nailed onto your actual studs here. So, And uh, pretty similar feeling. That's yeah, really again, nice. top hung hardware, so it's gonna slide really nice. So it's a guide track on the bottom, weather resistant seal down there. So we get a, a nice good DP rating on that as well. Yeah, that's PG gotta be, rating, a, I should say. That's so, gotta be like a yeah. PG 45 or right. 50, I yeah, suspect. Yeah, absolutely. Where's this price point on the E-Series compared to the Marvin? Any idea? Are yeah, they pretty it's a, it's similar? it's gonna be a little bit less than that. Probably more about the 14 to 1500 uh, per foot range okay. on that. So, so a little more than the yeah. Cantina, but maybe not quite as much as the Marvin? Correct. It's a yeah. nice door. Mm -hmm. I like yeah. that a lot. Right. All right, now we get to the lift and now, slide. Now, another Anderson product. Now, this is the Wyland door unit. So, okay. uh, Wyland's uh, Oceanside, California, which is a little bit south from here, down in oh, San Diego County. And again, this is a lift and slide ah. door unit. So, oh, I again, you, the uh, wrong way, pull the pan you pull the handle, the door is going to be able to operate. So, you get a smaller track on the bottom. So, again, we kind of showed the transition if you That's had nice. flooring go in and out. And this, this is all the track system you have. With having a small track as opposed to um, some of the other doors that don't have a very good DP rating, this door allows it sits on the actual ground when you mm -hmm. move the handle, you put in the closed position, move the handle down, the door is going to sit on the actual floor. So again, air and water resistant, probably the best DP rating out. Yeah, really high. Right? Yeah. And this one, if you take your flashlight out, you're going to see that there's like a bug screen right in the middle of this track and i wish we had a, a cutaway but i says oh here it is right here yeah Look. so we actually have, got a cutaway yeah, we do have it matt so yeah. there it is good job you were thinking ahead of time so right. what we're looking at here is this little screen right here the the sill underneath this is pretty deep there's kind of like a gutter in there and then this is a weep tube and so in theory you could bury this and have those weeps go to daylight on a patio or some other version uh, so in other words, we can bury the weep because we've got this tube system that's going to take it to where it needs to go. You still have to think about this ahead of time as the builder, but then it gives you this really clean, crisp inside to outside feel. Uh, only this one little track sticks up. So if I slide my foot over here, you know, really nothing's catching except for that one little track, which is sticking up, uh, you know, maybe a quarter inch or less. That's a nice door. That's an expensive yeah. door, though, I no, suspect. Yeah, this one's a 10 foot tall. So I unfortunately don't have a price for this door, but you're, you're probably right. That's probably 2,000 a foot <laughs> right. or so. Yeah, somewhere least, in that right. range. Yeah. All right, let's take a break for a second to give the camera guy uh, a uh, an arm rest and let's go check our windows next. We'll see you Sounds over there. Sounds good. All right, Carlos, where do we start on the windows? So now we're going to go to the Anderson windows. And the first window we see here is a 100 series from Anderson, which is a composite product. Okay. So it's a mixture of vinyl and wood together so it's a very affordable uh, window they have different colors to the exterior let's go down we can go down here so this is an ex uh black on black Ooh. 100 series so this is I'll a case the with of the that right this is probably one of our biggest sellers right now so it's a very very affordable product again it's title 24 compliant um it's a very excellent product so we sell it quite a bit i haven't in the recent past but over the years i've put a lot of anderson 100s in and they usually fall on a really nice price point where they're only slightly more expensive than vinyl, but you can get black where you can't get that on vinyl. Correct. Uh, and they've got some really nice features. It is a, a budget window, I would call it. This is not an upper end window. Uh, you're gonna notice things like the cuts on, the, uh, on this interior sash here. But, you know, for the price point, it's a pretty nice window. Yeah, no, it's actually a, a very nice window. And again, we can do it in custom homes. Um, regular uh, homes and actually multifamily. It's very good for multifamily projects as well. So we use it quite a bit in our multifamilies as well. The only thing that I would tell you uh, as kind of overall general builder advice is I don't love casements or composite windows in the casement uh, type window, uh, especially in Texas, maybe in a more mild market, but in Texas where we've got a lot of heat issues, I tend to feel like these frames move a little bit more on me and they can go out of adjustment. I'm sure the Anderson people wouldn't like me saying that uh, or whoever else makes a composite or a vinyl window. But I think that if you're doing single hungs, uh, maybe even awning style, some other things, I think that's right. a good budget choice. Sure. Yeah, absolutely. Let's go take a look at these on the outside. I think we can actually walk through this door yeah. right here. This is actually their 200 series, or 100 series door, I'm sorry. So it's the 100 series door. Yeah, now so we're one, go to the one nice thing about these is you've got a integral uh, nailing flange right, right here that's both structural and waterproofing 
and that's continuous on the top. And it looks like they include their corner pads, which is a nice detail. Right. I yeah. do like that. No, uh, yeah, it's really good. The other uh, feature I like to um, note on this product line, the sight lines are going to be equal. So if you put a casement next to this window, or a single hung, or a picture window, you're going to have the same sight line all the way through. So it makes it oh, really, nice. really nice. Yeah, it's a very nice feature. Yeah, it's really nice. So, right. Okay, so yeah. now these are Andersons as well, but we're coming up to a wood interior now. Right, so this is their cloud product. Again, this is their E-series ah, um, e product here. So yeah, so we have a nice oak interior on this one. So it shows off the the oak interior on this. So this is a much more expensive window than the 100 series. I would suspect this is at least double the price, right? Correct, yes. Uh, if yeah. not, maybe slightly yeah. more right. even. For sure, yeah. Yeah. But you see it's a really nice, well put together product. So um, again, uh, aluminum exterior, so you get colors to the outside with the nice wood to the interior. So you get the look of the wood product to the inside, but without any maintenance on the exterior. I know I've installed a bunch of this E-series before. <clears throat> I wouldn't hesitate to put a casement in on this E-Series, they make a really, really nice product. Right. And of course, with windows and doors, you get what you pay for. Uh, so it's not like, you know, Anderson's making a bunch more money on this product. Maybe the profit margin is higher, but you actually get what you pay for when you when you buy a more expensive product. Right, absolutely. Yeah, it's just like buying a car. The more the more uh, you pay for upgrades, the more options there's gonna, are, are available to you. Mm -hmm. So that's that's how uh, typically it'll work on these product lines. Makes so, sense. What are we what are we looking at here? So now this is the uh, this is Marvin Essential sliding door. So uh, um, this essential. is part of the Marvin product line. So it's it's a fiberglass exterior with wood to the interior. So ah. again, really nice patio sliding door. So a little bit more affordable. Mm -hmm. So we uh, they actually have their uh, ultimate product line, um, but this is their essential. So it's a little bit less um, in price. So actually, this Any is... Any idea of where this Essential line fits with the Anderson 100s in terms of price? So it's going to be a, it's going to be a little bit more money on, on that side like of it. 50 so, more oh, no, like 50% more and 30% more? 15 to 20% more. So, okay. Yeah, it's not that much more. So Not that much more. Yeah. Now, so what actually, I like about these is this is fiberglass, though. Correct. Which I have yes. not seen much movement on fiberglass. Absolutely. And so I always tell people fiberglass is worth the money to upgrade from a vinyl or from a composite. Yeah, on my standpoint, I always tell people you can make a boat out of fiberglass and leave it in water for long periods of time. Yeah. Just imagine knowing, especially here in California, where it doesn't rain a whole lot. Yeah. So it's actually, uh, yeah. So they and, actually have two product lines, an essential and the elevate. So the essential is all fiberglass and the elevate is going to have wood to the inside, but they're okay. both they're both fiberglass. So exterior. this is wood to the inside. Yes. Fiberglass is the actual frame and structure on the window. Correct. Yes. It's nice looking. I yeah. got to say. Yeah. It looks absolutely. really good. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, let's do that. So here we can walk through this door right here to get to the next one. And I'm assuming these are Marvins as yeah, well? Yeah, so this is the Marvin Ultimate Casement here. So this is a, a sliding screen from the oh side. Oh my so gosh, they actually got look a at screen. that sliding So screen. Marvin was, was actually pretty smart when they designed this from the side. So if this is a tall window, there's no way I'd be able to, to, to grab this. But being from the side, now I can actually grab it from the side. So that makes it really nice. It's really sleek. It blends very well with the sash itself, so it, it looks really good. So oh, you don't see really anything nice. hanging. It'll be from the side, so it's a it's a really nice product. Um, this is their double hung window here. Mm -hmm. So this is a very nice double hung it's window. Like an oak interior on that Correct. thing. Correct. Right. And then they've got a French style door here. French door. This is an outswing uh, French door. So you can see multi point locks on there. Really nice. We just went white on white on this. Real traditional type of look. Um, Really nice product. So, Do you generally yeah. think of outswing doors as more weather and air resistant? Yeah, again, we talked about earlier, the doors are swinging out. So actually the door, when the, when the wind blows or the rain, it's actually going to cause a tighter seal because the doors are going to seal onto the actual frame itself. Mm -hmm. So it actually does cause. I know some back in the day people thought that the outswing doors leak, but it's actually, it's, it's not It's kind true. of the opposite. Yeah, true. yeah it's absolutely. That's, <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah. All right. Now, what are we getting into here? What are these guys? So now this in here, this is Milgard. So this is a Milgard vinyl product line. Okay. So this is their Trinsic, which is a black on black uh, vinyl window. Wow. Um, yeah. So it's really nice. Really. I didn't clean. know they made a black on black. Yeah. Vinyl. So this is a, a black. Uh, again, it's really contemporary looks. It's a little bit different than 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 their traditional type of window. This is their uh, traditional Tuscany um, single hung window. So it's really nice. You got the auto locking mechanism. I like in there. that hardware. So, That's kind of yeah, nice. absolutely. You can hear it locked. So, you know, it's, it's locked. Mm -hmm. This is our ultra fiberglass window. So again, fiberglass in and out. Okay. So this is a really nice product. Again, That's you right. got a nice locking mechanism on that as well. So it's locked into place. You get different colors to the exterior wood. I mean, I'm sorry, white to the interior. So a lot of, a lot of flexibility. They with make this, this in black for fiberglass. Absolutely. As well? Yes. You That's do black nice. on black. So I like that. Yeah. 
Very really cool. nice, really nice product line. This is one of our local um, manufacturer's mills, TM Cobb. It's wood Ooh. windows. So wood windows are still traditional. Some people really, really? want the traditional wood. So all wood, wood, wood. interior and all exterior. Wood. VG fur to the huh. inside. So this is a really nice product line. You got a in-swing, but nice in swing case. Wow, that's wild. Yeah, dual pane. They actually they actually can get to Title 24 on this. Is that these right? wood windows. Yeah. So huh. they've they've done some work on this. It's a really nice product line. So real again, real traditional. There's some, you know, parts of Los want, Angeles that want, want traditional. Real wood. Yeah. yeah. That's pretty wild. <clears throat> and then uh Geldwin, I'm guessing, by the sign above here in this yeah. last section. So this is the Geldwin product line here. So we got all their product lines. This is the Epic View here. Mm -hmm. The Epic View product line here. So this is a newer contemporary looking product line. Yeah, so a little it's thinner really frame size, right? Right, square sticking, square to the outside and the inside. So it's really clean, really sleek looking. I really, like that. Really good looking, so yeah. And then what do they call their, do they call it the custom series? Well, or? not yet. This is a sightline series. Oh, so sightline series. This is out of Wisconsin. Okay. So this is the middle of the road, cloud products, like extruded aluminum to the exterior. Um, really good product line though. That's probably our number one seller here in the market. As, as I have some sightline products, windows so, in my yeah. house from Geldwin. I right. really like them. I'm going to show you one of my favorite features on that. But before I go there, let me tell you one of my favorite actions, which is this. This is a push out casement. If you're not familiar with a push out casement, casement action, meaning it's hinged on the side, but there's no crank. Like this window has a crank handle. Uh, so you're going to actually crank it. And you know, the crank's fine, but you get that ee, ee, ee. whereas the push out casement, if you're in a hurry, boom, so nice. It's done. And yeah. I also really like how you can use your body weight to pull it in so you know it's nice and tight. That is a really nice product. Look at that, I've not seen that before. A hinged screen on that. Yeah, so again, really clean. You have uh, fur, we decided to go fur on this as well. So nice, all blends in with uh, vertical grain fur to the interior. So. Yeah, it's a really nice uh, product line. Yeah, that's interesting. So, now let's go on yeah. the outside though. I'll tell you okay. one of the features sure. that I Absolutely. like uh, about the gelled ones that I got on my house. And it's this right here. I'm not sure if you can tell in the video, but that head flashing, I wish I had my tape measure so I could point to it. That head flashing right there ships loose uh, with the window. And so now we can install the window, flash the window, and then put a real aluminum head flashing which is uh, matching the aluminum cladding on the outside. Uh, and I really like that. This must be the sightline window, huh? That's, that's really the epic nice. view again. That's, oh, the, that's epic the epic view, view. That's right, right? Which is a clean, sleek, really square sticking, square sticking really, here. really narrow sightline. So again, um, really contemporary. Like so as opposed to going to the aluminum product, but you have problems with Title 24. This is a Title 24 compliant product. You get the really nice uh, look on the exterior. I like that. And one thing yeah. that, that I'd plug Jildren on too that I do like, this is an aluminum nailing flange. And they, they pre-put a pad, and on my window they had a bunch of uh, caulking on there so that where that miter comes together, they've kind of pre-weatherproof that. Now, I would right. still go the extra mile and make sure that corner is sealed, but it's a really nice package. And uh, they tend to be, if I understand correctly, a slightly lower price point than, let's say, the Marvin or the Anderson. Is oh, that no, right? absolutely. Or yeah. No, they do, and, they, and again, and that's the flexibility of having the different product lines with the Epic View, the Sightline, um, the Custom, and they actually have a builder series of W2500 as well. So they have all the different product lines to cover every type of budget as well. Yeah. So yeah. And what's this last door? So this is an actual Geldon door as well. So this is a low friction glider. So as opposed hmm. to, we've seen the, the lift and slide. So this door slide, the traditional slider, but when the door closes and you get in the ghost position, you pull the handle, the door actually sucks into the frame. So oh, you can actually see it come in yeah. and cause a very tight seal on this, and you get a PG50 rating on this door. Wow. So very, very weather resistant door. That's so neat. What is that called again? This is a low friction glider. Low friction glider. Right. Very yeah. interesting. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Yeah, slide's very nice. It's kind of a uh, hybrid handle. between a sliding glass door and a lift and slide. Right, absolutely. Big old threshold though. I mean, you gotta, you gotta make sure your clients know what they're getting. Right. Uh, not a low profile threshold. Where does that land in the uh, kind of budget? So range? price wise, it's a, it's a little bit pricier, probably about more again about the two thousand dollar a foot uh, okay. range on this door. But again, it's it's about the water resistant. Um, it's a very very nice product. Yeah, so, that's really yeah. nice. Yeah, very proud to have it here in the showroom. Man, Carlos, what yeah. a great showroom! I love that you've got anchor bolts in these walls. You've got shear walls <laughs> in here, so you could literally slam these doors, touch them, feel them. <laughs> Nothing shaking or rattling. 
Uh, and for me as a builder to see how the sill pans work, how are these doors actually screwed through the jam? This is an epic show, right? Yeah, no, thank you. We really want to show the end user what, what, they can, um, what they can do with these products and, and to give them an idea of the installation part of it as well. Um, we actually had to go to engineering and get an engineer to approve these panels. Did we you? actually had to add the shear walls to the, to the exterior. So, uh, it, it yeah. It feels it's very not, California with yeah, some of these hold no, downs, like it's earthquake zone <laughs> yeah, in right. here. No, uh, I know yeah, these absolutely. builders are putting a lot of suits and hardware in these houses around <laughs> right. here. Yeah, no, they are. So. The last thing I would end on would be find a builder's first source showroom near you because Carlos has a bunch of colleagues here in LA, but he's got colleagues at all the 500 locations. Uh, and there's going to be someone who specializes in windows and doors. And when you're ordering these, it's really helpful to have a Carlos who understands the different manufacturers, the differences, the price points, even things like, I don't think we talked about this earlier, but like you told me you've had plans come in and you've said, hey, do you realize you're in a WUI, a Woodlands Urban Interface? Correct. Which means you've got some fire codes that you need to deal with which means you got to have a clad aluminum outside. You can't put a vinyl window in that area, right? Right, absolutely, yeah. So you need that really smart person to be able to look at your plans, look at your specs, and make sure they're going to work. Uh, or maybe you go, hey, what's, what's going to work with my budget? Uh, you know, is there some places that you could see that would still give me the same look, but maybe go down in budget? Or are there some places that I should consider a different door? Like you and I were talking earlier, if you have that no overhang house, you don't want the sill that's going to leak. If you've got hardwoods on the inside, you may want to go to a, a higher PG rated door in those locations. And you also need the builder to install that correctly to make sure that those weep holes are weeping to the outside correctly. Right. Yeah. No, there is. Um, and that's how we built the showroom. We have um, multi slides. We have bifolds. We have exterior pocketing doors so we can mm -hmm. actually show you the difference in the doors. Oh, yeah. um, just because you might see something on paper. But once you see it in reality here in the showroom, you can really make a, a decision. Um, and see the difference in all the doors that we have to offer. Love it, man. So, Carlos, yeah, awesome. thank you so much. All right, good see you. We'll see you next time on The Build Show.